tonight um, we'll, we'll have the presentation of the prices, the FOM prices. There, this is a very important uh, element of these two days. And Jos Benschop will be the one who presents the prizes to the winners, and I should like to invite him to the, the podium. Jos. Uh, dear Nick, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to be here at uh, Physics at FOM. A uh, place filled with excitement if you walk around in the posters, in the sessions. And I once again like to uh, congratulate FOM for again showing to us and the world that physics is a science very much alive and kicking. Thanks to all of you. It is my privilege to uh, hand over the prizes of the FOM to the winners. And I will hand out a total of four prizes. Best PhD thesis, Min uh, Minvira Prize, the best scientific publication from a female researcher, the Valorization Chapter Prize, which is for a chapter in a PhD thesis dedicated to the valorization of their doctoral research. And last but not least, the Valorization Prize to a researcher whose output has been of great benefit to society. Without further ado, I'd like to hand over the first prize. The FOM prize for best PhD thesis goes to Dr. Klaas-Jan Thielroy for his research into the properties of water in the vicinity of ions and molecules. The work was carried, one more minute. <laughs> The work, the work was carried out by FOM Institute Amolf. According to the jury, his thesis contained very important and highly relevant research that was presented in an outstanding and impressive manner. Once again, join me in congratulating Dr. Thielroy. Okay. Hello uh, everybody, I would like to take this uh, opportunity to uh, thank uh, for their support, my parents and my sister, why not? Um, and of course, um, uh, my promoter, uh, Hype Bakker, who is somewhere here in the audience, and my co-promoter, uh, Misha Bonn, who is now uh, moving to Germany actually. And um, yeah, some other people at, uh, at Amolf who made my life uh, nice there, um, Rutger, Yves, Lukas, Avishek, Maria, uh, Han Kwang, who else was there? Well, a lot of more people. Thank you all and uh, enjoy this evening, uh, everyone. Thank you. The second prize, which I'm allowed to hand over tonight, is for the best scientific publication by a female researcher. The prize is awarded to Professor Maria Antonietta Loy. She receives, please join me. <laughs> She receives this prize for her article about new discovery for the use of carbon nanotubes for optoelectronic nanodevices. According to the jury, the article was clearly written and is, it is, a comp is comprehensive also to non-specialists. Furthermore, it is research in a relevant area and the results are of major importance for the field concerned. She is a FOM work group leader at the Rijksuniversiteit Groningen. Please join me in congratulating her. Oh, it's happy. Shake hands. <laughs> Look. Look at him. Thank you very much. 
Please. I would like, first of all, to thank all of you to be here, to thank FOMA for this beautiful prize uh, for the symbol of Minerva that I just got. It's fantastic. Um, I would like also to thank many important people, like the people of the Nanoscience Era project uh, granted by STW. I would like also to thank STW here, uh, who believe with me that the nano hybrids are important for optoelectronics. I would like to thank my group, my students, and uh, my technician because uh, uh, of their constant hard work and the co their commitment. And I would like to thank the Zernike Institute for Advanced Material uh, of the Rijksmuseum Universiteit Groningen for the for the constant support. Thank you very much. The Form Valorization Chapter Prize goes to Dr. Silke Diederhoven. <laughs> she did her PhD work while working at the Form Amolf Group, Service Plus uh, Photonics at the Philips campus in Eindhoven. The jury was very impressed by the way she creatively translated her work in the area of nanowires to a broader market. Please join me in congratulating her. Shake hands, look at him. Good evening, and thank you, Jos, for your kind words. And first of all, I'd like to thank the committee for considering my valorization chapter for the Form Valorization Chapter Prize. And um, I've done my PhD in the first industrial partnership program between Form and Philips in the group of Jaime Gomez Rivas. And this group is in a very special position because it is, on the one hand, part of the Center for Nanophotonics at Amolf, and on the other hand, located at Philips Research. And uh, being in this group gave me the chance to join the colloquia from, from the Center for Nanophotonics, in which I got stimulated to perform cutting-edge fundamental research. But the close proximity to researchers from Philips stimulated me to perform, uh, to think about applications as an add-on to my fundamental research. And I'd like to acknowledge now all the co-workers from Amolf and Philips for stimulating discussions about fundamental and applied research. Thank you. Last but not least, it is my distinct pleasure to give the Fum Valorization Prize to someone I have known for many years. Someone I have the highest regard for as a scientist, an engineer, as an entrepreneur. He's a professor of industrial physics of Van La Lettre and a fellow lithographer. Professor Pieter Kruid, the chair of the charge particle group of the Delft University of Technology. <coughs> His application-oriented research has led to 160 publications, 46 patents, and intensive collaboration with a wide variety of, of co uh, corporations. The price of 250,000 euros reflects the value from rightly subscribes to signs that leads to valorization. Please join me in congratulating Professor Kruijt. Thank you very much, and a special thanks to FOM, of course, and to my colleagues who nominated me for this award. Now, valorization, for those of you who even know what it really means, why would you think about valorization in your research? Especially PhD students here, why would you want to think about valorization of your research? Well, I have two reasons for you. One, 
you may win 250,000 euros. <laughs> Two, it may add a whole new dimension to your life. And as a physicist, you should be interested in new dimensions, of course. <laughs> and what this dimension is, I'm going to explain to you tomorrow in my talk in the prize winner session. So I will see you all there, talking about new dimensions. Mag ik nog even vastpakken of niet? Ja, Pieter, als je nog een keer vast wil houden. Please hold your prize when we take a group photo. Oh, zal ik. Uh, moet ik erbij of zonder? <laughs> oh, ik moet er ook bij. I have to join. Proficiat, <laughs> proficiat. Jos, Jos Benschop, thank you very much for performing this really important uh, <coughs> um, duty for us. And also from the side of the board of FOM, congratulations to all the prize winners.